Foodie Hemsel and today is Shrove Tuesday. I'm going to be showing you how to make British pancakes. For this recipe you're going to need 200 grams of plain flour, 500 ml of milk, two eggs and a couple of pinches of salt. That's it. The thing we need to do is wipe down your surfaces with a warm soaker cloth. Then go and spray down your surfaces with an antibacterial spray and then dry off with a clean paper towel. Sift together your flour and your salt. This will remove any lumps and also incorporate air into your mixture. A couple of pinches of salt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a well in the middle of our mixture. So using your egg that's not cracked yet, just do a little circular motion in order to make a hole within your bowl. Crack your eggs one at a time into the well of your flour. Using a whisk, start from the centre of your well and start to give it a little bit of a whisk in the centre. As soon as it starts to get a little bit stiff, start to add a little bit of your milk so that we're getting, gaining a smooth paste. to thick a pancake you'll need to go to my foodie Hemsel channel and you'll be able to look up an American pancake mix which is a lot thicker it does say for vegans or vegetarians however if you swap the three teaspoons of replacement powder egg replacement powder you can easily swap it for three large eggs so you can see I've added all of my milk now there's lots of air in there. And what I find easier to do now is to pour this back into my measuring jug, ready for making my pancakes. Okay, I forgot to say, the decorations which you could use serving suggestion to serve, you could either use some orange juice, uh, or some uh, freshly squeezed lemon or some orange or for example you could use lemon juice or lime juice to buy and um, you could use some chocolate spread um, or some maple syrup or even some gold, golden syrup so you can either go for your caster sugar or granulated sugar or you might even go for something like candorel where you've got your sweetener so it's a little bit more healthier Okay, so the trick is about getting your frying pan nice and hot. You'll need a fish slice and a palette knife and a plate ready to put these pancakes onto. So I've got my temperature on full flame. I'm going to add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I tend not to use olive oil because it absorbs into the mixture very good for other things but I tend to use either melted butter or you could use a vegetable oil so I've tipped that round if you have too much you can always pour it into an empty measuring jug and ready to use again so you need to pour just enough in order to reach the pan so you could do it at a, a ladle full at a time or you can pour your mixture into the pan and once you've poured it in you need to tip your mixture perhaps got a little bit too much oil in the pan there so i always say the first pancake always turns out 
slightly different to all the rest just because you're trying to get happy medium of the temperature of your pan so don't worry too much if the first one is a disaster just persevere and go with it so you're looking for your pancake to have dried out on the top so that it can no longer move at all your mixture can't move and you'll notice that the bubbles are now starting to rise to the surface you can check it just using your palette knife around the side to see if it's not making sure that it's not sticking okay that's a, that's a sign that your pan might be a little bit too hot or maybe you've not added enough oil so I'm just looking at underneath to see whether it's the right colour it's starting to get there we'll give it a little bit longer like I said, I think I might have put a little bit too much oil, so I think I might stick to a, ta a tablespoon, a dessert spoon even. Okay, so, gain your confidence first with your temperature of your pan before you start flipping. Now that's still sitting underneath, which means I've either got my pan too hot, or I probably need a little bit of help just with my palette knife just to ease it off okay I've eased it off so I should be able to lift that now and gain underneath oh I've whipped it I told you the first one is always a disaster okay not quite a disaster but a bit of one okay it's still edible that's the main thing so don't forget to subscribe to my channel please so once you think you've done the first pancake you're ready to put it onto your plate and you're ready for the second one